Alright, in today's video we're going to be going ahead and tying some marabou, white marabou with your nice feathers onto this number two treble hook uh, that I will put on my fishing lures later. So right now I'm using number 210 red and we're, we're going to start with the top being flat on the uh, treble hook and we're going to start with wrapping the red uh, thread around here a few times from back to front and then from front to back toward the eye and that should be good and then we're going to snip that off and usually it's pretty good if you have your stuff laid aside I got a working table here that spins like a lazy Susan so I can spin stuff around but right now we're going to go ahead and start laying the marabou on now marabou I have found the package is to be you know, you get some feathers that are good, some feathers that are no, not so good. But I have cleared cleared off the tethers on this here. And anytime it folds out, you want to push that away from the uh, hook itself. So we're going to start with the number one here at the top. And we're going to wrap it around a few dozen times, six or seven times. And then we'll get that going. And that should be good enough for that. And then we're going to take another feather. Same stuff. I already took off the, cleared the stem off of the feathers there. And there again, we can see it's always bending out, so we're going to put that one right here. So it bends toward, away from the hook. And there again, we're going to wrap it around six or seven times, going from the hooks back to the eye. But uh, the packages are other than desirable as far, so you got to weed through that. So I'm going to put this one on toward the other side there. And wrap it around there a few times and then again toward the hooks and then back toward the eye wrap it around a few times give some good base going there foundation and then toward back toward the eye there now we're going to put on the the marabou flash which i got silver here and i've already taken a few pieces off now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I've seen some people use it and put it on the line and fold it. I think that by putting it on here, I got three strands, by putting it on here and then going and wrapping around like that a few times, then folding it back toward the hooks with all the strands. You'll get more strands that way. It just seems to be easier to manage. And wrap that around a few times, going back toward the eye of the hook. And then they're in, and, and you can either trim them now or trim them later. I'll trim them now. You want them about halfway up the feathers. So I'll trim that back now. And we're gonna get the other two spots here in a second. So I got, grab some more of these strands here. I got silver, by the way. I know there's different Silver is pretty good as far as I'm concerned with the white. Um, so there again, I got three strands. I got two right here. I got to grab one more. Okay, now we got three of equal lengths. Makes it easier when you're doing it. And, but the thing is, is handling this stuff is so... It's like tinsel. There we go. All right. I must have lost my third one. Oh, here we go. Down here with the feathers. Okay. So we'll get that on there. And then we'll go ahead and wrap that on the other side there. The treble hook. And then again, hold it in place. Wrap around a couple times. And then take and fold it back over the line there's a thread in that second spot there and then we'll go ahead and finish wrapping it take the thread and wrap it around seems like my bobbin's a little bit loose there so wrap it around got it on there nice and good now okay so now I'm going to take it and fold it up toward the front once I wrap a couple more strands on there, 
couple more times. There we go. Okay, now toward the front again. All of those. So I got like six strands there. That's why it's a little bit more difficult to deal with. Okay, then wrap it up. And then you go ahead and, like I say, you can cut it now. Or you can cut it later. I prefer to do it while I'm moving along here so it's easier to keep track of which ones I'm cutting. It's about half the distance down the feather. And then there you go. You can see how nice that already looks. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get one more set of three on the back set of hooks there. And that should do it for the the glitter. The marabou glitter. Okay, so there's one. Two. Pull that strand off and that'll cut that one in half. And that'll make the two strands I need. So get those cut. Okay. And now I got one, two. Here's two. Whoops. Pull it back. Don't want it out of focus. Two and now. This stuff is very hard to hold on to. So thin. Okay, so there's two again, and there's my third one, and there is the third one, okay. So now I'll put that on the, this side right here, wrap it with the thread a few times, keeping it over here, one, two, three, four, and then gonna take it and pull it toward the front and finish wrapping it. Put a nice base on it. Wrap it up good from the back, from the hooks to the back toward the eyes. I'm gonna try and keep an even amount on there. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm gonna cut that. I'll get that cut, and the flash really. Uh, you know, it brings now I've seen people put the flash on the inside. I've seen people put the flash on the middle, toward the end. This way, I put it on toward the end. It seems a little bit easier, but it's all up to personal preference. So I'll put some more here. I need to get it. The flash needs to be up toward the feathers, in order to get a good foundation there at the feathers. And we'll go ahead and wrap that some more there, and then toward the. Now this is a big hook, number two. So we're going to put some more thread on it toward the back. And then we'll go ahead and we'll tie it up. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put some nail polish. I'm, I'm working in low light. That's why it's a little bit hard. Okay, now we're going to wrap it. One. Two. Three times. Around the line four times, five times, six times, because this is the number two. And then you pop that off, and you let the hook come up, and there you go. Let's see if I can get this on there this time again, like that. Put this there, and go around once, twice, three times, four times five times and then let it out and then pull it up and there you go okay now we're going to apply the sally hands hard as nails onto the thread there and uh, get her all sealed up and ready to go and like i say thanks for watching uh, another episode of fishing glass if you like the videos please subscribe